Happy World Health Day, everybody. I know we're all missing working out in person, uh, but I wanted to get a bunch of my friends together to show you exercises that you can do at home. So thank you to my friends who contributed, who recorded themselves working out at home and sent them in to me to share with you, to help motivate you because it's a lot more fun when we work out together, even if it's virtual. So let's do this. Hi everybody. My name is Gowan and I'm here to do Stacy Stronger with Stacy Workout today. I feel stronger already. I am going to be doing a hurt with you today. It won't hurt, well maybe just a little bit. Okay, so the equipment you're gonna need for this workout is a chair. I'm gonna be doing some tricep dips. We are going to need a towel. That's optional. I can get, you don't actually need a towel, but if you have one, great. Same for a resistance band, optional. Uh, dumbbells. It would be good if you have dumbbells, but if you don't have dumbbells, grab some water bottles, small pets, whatever you have lying around the house. Do what you can. All right, here we go with our warm up. We're gonna come down to a kneeling, half a kneel position. Hands in front of your chest, and we're gonna open out to the side. Same side, just like this. Opening up your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Breathe in. Breathe out. And switch to the other side. Same thing. Hands in front of your chest. Open to the side. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your shoulders down. And this should just feel very good. Slight twist, warming up our core, opening up our chest and come on up to standing and we're gonna do jump twists. Now, if this is too high impact, you can do boxer step where you're shuffling from one foot to the other. The idea is you're just twisting the torso like this. And then you can speed it up or boxer skip. Okay, we're gonna go back to those Kneeling rotations. Here we go. Hang on. I like doing it better like this. Ta da! Ta da! And switch sides. This is similar to one of the exercises we're going to be doing in our circuit. So this is a good, good preparation. Okay, come up to standing. We need to go back to our jump twists or boxer skip twists, whatever works for you. Boxer is slightly lower impact. My mat keeps bunching up. Ooh. All right. We're gonna do knee up, lunge to the side. Pull that knee into your chest, lunge out to the side. We are now stretching out our inner thighs, our adductors, as well as our quads. Okay. We are going to do knee and foot hop. So it goes like this. Alternate hand to knee, 
then foot. So knee, knee, foot, foot. Knee, knee, foot, foot. You can take out the hop if you want to. You're still gonna feel it. But remember, you don't have to go too crazy right now. Again, it's just the warm up. We're not going all out yet. Okay, back to our knee, lunge out to the side, knee, lunge out to the side. Pull that knee in, out, knee up, out, and going back to knee, knee, foot and foot, knee, knee, foot and foot, or knee, knee, foot, foot, tap, Okay, now you're gonna come down into a high squat, so you're not going all the way down. Just about here, three quarters of the way. You squat jabs. Pull your hands into the side of your, your rib cage. Alternate your hands as you punch out. Quick, like that. And just keep going. Keep your abs pulled in, chest up. Remember to breathe. Okay, butt kicks, and kick your butt. Or you can do it in standing position for lower impact. Just really try and reach your heel to your bum. We are kicking our butt, butts, plural. Okay, going right back to our squat jabs. Punch, 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 punch. As fast as you can, or slow it down if it's too much. And right back to kicks. And then we're done with our warm-up. You're doing amazingly. All right, let's start. All right, we're going to start with our crescent kicks and lateral raises. This time, instead of bent knee, we are going to straighten the leg. You don't have to come up too high. If that's too challenging, straight out to the side. You can do bent arm raises or straight arm raises. So whatever cord uh, whatever combination works. Ready? Straight. Straight. Or bent. Just give me all you got. Really work it. Don't rush it. I mean, you wanna, you wanna work, but make sure you're doing proper form. Okay, we're gonna go right into, if you have a resistance band, excellent, or just use your arms. We're gonna come down, reverse lunge. You're gonna stretch it right, straight your arms, right across your chest. If you don't have a resistance band, you're just gonna, just like the, the warm up move we did. Ready? We're gonna do it on one leg only. Here we go. Three, two, one. Step back up. Remember, you're gonna go slower at first while you're still getting the moves down. But as you get more comfortable with these moves, you can start squeezing in more reps, more repetitions in the 30 seconds. 
if it's supposed to be. As high intensity as works for you. Okay, rest. We're gonna switch to the other side. Never stop moving, because you still wanna keep your, your body warm and your heart rate up. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Come down this way, open up. Now when you go down, make sure your knee's not going past your front toe. Other knee's gonna be almost touching the floor. Here we go. Get your balance. <laughs> Straight arms, really make sure you've got enough resistance. Or really, if you're not using any resistance band, just squeeze those shoulder blades together. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, we're gonna go into assisted tricep dips. So have a chair or a bench. Whatever works for you, whatever you have, you're gonna put your hands shoulder width apart. Knees are gonna come in. So you're in a sitting position. You're basically sitting and you're just gonna move your butt down, keep your shoulders down and push yourself up. Here we go, down. Breathe in, breathe out as you push up. Again, keep those abs pulled in. Try and make sure that it's your hands, your arms doing the work. Try not to push from your heels. This is a really good tricep burner. Okay, rest that. And we're gonna repeat that circuit. We've already done that circuit, now we repeat it. So, okay, going back to our straight leg kicks with either bent or straight arm raises. So it's gonna be like this. Or, or. Here we go. Engage those abs to help stabilize. You're using a lot of different muscle groups right now. Come on, last one. Awesome. Weights down. Grab your resistance band if you have one. Catch your breath. I'm feeling it already. All right, so just keep on moving. You've got 10 seconds. This is gonna be a reverse lunge with T rotation, as we call it, on one leg. Here we go. Stretch. Pull wide open. Make sure you're stepping far enough back that your front knee it's not going past your toe. 10 seconds. You got this. Excellent. All right. Rest and then we'll switch to the other side. All right. <laughs> Make sure your props are out of your way. You've got enough room to move. <laughs> Don't want any injuries. All right, are you ready? We got three, two, one. Here we go. Step back, open. Breathe out as you pull open. If you're having trouble finding your balance with this, you can take out the arms. Just focus on the reverse lunge, then add in the arms. 
It's a step-by-step -step process. All right, put that resistance band down if you have it. Last set of our tricep dips. So, ah, get that chair ready. Legs out in front of you, or go back to bent knee, whatever works for you. Here we go. Try not to flare your elbows up to the side. Try and make sure they stay back and you're really feeling it more in your triceps. Remember to breathe out as you bring your knee up. Last two. Oh yeah. Okay, moving on to circuit number two. Sumo swings. Grab your weight. You only need one. You're gonna stand in a sumo squat. So it's like a plie position. Legs are wider, feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Toes turned out. Chest up. You're gonna go down, up. Keep your balance. Just like this. Slow, controlled movements. Squeeze your butt as you come up and push from your heels. You don't need a weight to begin with. If you just want to do the squat by itself, that is fine. Okay, put that weight down. Going to do our abs. Come down to our mat. So make sure you've got enough room because we're going to go back to straight legs, straight arms up. This time we're doing everything. If you can, lift your head and your shoulders, press the low back in. All at the same time, here we go. Breathe in. Press that low back into the floor. You got this. Come on, last one. Ah, come on. You did it. Roll to your side. And we're gonna do goblet squat bicep curls. So you can grab a towel or you can use dumbbells. I'll show you how to do it with dumbbells. You're gonna go into squat position, feet, shoulder, or slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Sit down, extend, up, squeeze up, okay? Or pull your towel really tight, extend, up. Keep your chest up, breathe in, and out as you squeeze up. Eight seconds, push from those heels and squeeze up. Good job, all right. Okay, forearm jacks. This time, we're coming down to the floor. We're gonna go back to our forearms, if that's working for you. And you can do the step out or you can step it up and jack it out, come on. Give it all you got. 30 seconds, come on. Keep those abs pulled in. Scream if you want to. Come on. If you have to start stepping, just step it. Keep, keep, keep going. Oh, last one, come on. And we're gonna repeat that circuit. Okay, sumo squats. So grab your weight, feet very wide apart, toes turned out, chest up, flat back. These are all my cues. 
so many things to remember, but it comes with time. Breathe in. I'm using a heavier weight. I really advise you to start with something lighter. Because it's a balanced move as well. Squeeze your butt as you come up and push from those heels. One more. Excellent. All right. All right, we're gonna come down to do our abs. Make sure you have enough room. Remember, for straight legs, if you wanna go back to bent legs, that's fine. Do what you can. Press that lower back into the floor. And deep breath in. Exhale as you come up. This is our last set of these. Really do as many as you can. If it's hurting your head or neck, keep your head and shoulders on the floor. Woo, okay, roll to the side. We are gonna go right into our goblet squats with bicep curls. Don't forget, you can use uh, anything from around the house for this if you don't have weights. I've decided to use these two grassy DB box sets. So, you know, whatever works, just give it your all. And then afterwards I can enjoy some classic Canadian television programming. Squeeze and push from those heels. Breathe out. All those things at once. Come on, you got this. Five seconds, come on, squeeze. Excellent. All right, guys, last exercise of the circuit. It is your plank jacks, your absolute favorite, I know. We're gonna come down to our forearms. If that's working for you, otherwise you can go to high plank. And we're gonna, we're gonna jack it out. Ready? Does that sound bad? Here we go. Oh my God. To. Let's do our cool down. You have earned it. We're going to start with gentle glute stretch. So you're going to bend one leg in front of you, extend your back leg straight behind you, and you're going to walk your hands out until you can rest your elbows on the floor and you feel a gentle stretch, mild tension in your buttocks. You're just going to hang out with that. Ready? Deep breathing into this stretch.
breathe into that. stretch in your buttocks and then you're just going to hang out with it. Breathe deep. You can rest your head on the floor if you want. Okay, and bring that back toe up. So again, we are converting this into a quadricep stretch of the front of your leg. Great work, you guys. Bring that toe down. We're gonna come down onto our back. So now's the time, if you have a towel, I'll show you how to use it, but you don't need to use it, okay? It's not, it's optional. We're gonna stretch out our hamstrings. So you can either do that by extending that one leg up and grabbing behind your knee and pulling that leg in towards your chest, okay? Just like that. If you wanna make it a slightly deeper stretch or you just need a bit of help keeping that leg up, I have a really short towel, you can use a longer towel. And you just use that around your foot to help pull that leg towards you, okay? Breathe into that. Feeling it all back here. We really need to paint our ceiling. <laughs> Things you notice when you're lying on your back. All right, switch legs. So again, extend your bottom leg and keep that other leg straight up, pull it towards you. You can assist keeping that leg up or pulling that leg towards you with a towel. Preferably a slightly longer towel than what I have. Just make sure your back is flat on the floor and you're not reaching up like that. front actually. <laughs> uh, interlace your fingers, reach out and away so that you're scooping your back. Rest your head. And really just stretching our shoulder blades, our upper back. Opposite. We're going to stretch out our chest, our shoulders, and our biceps by interlacing your fingers again behind your back. Lift up just as high as you can so that you're feeling a stretch in your chest. yourself for work that you've done because I mean you've earned it okay triceps because we did a lot of tricep work now again you can either do overhead tricep stretch where you're just slightly pushing on your elbow and reaching behind your shoulder blades 
You can also use a towel. So I'm going to grab it with one end, drop that towel behind my back, grab it, the bottom of the towel with my other hand, pull away in both directions until you're feeling that stretch in your tricep. Some people just find this easier. We're gonna switch sides now. Then the one where you're pushing your elbow back. Okay, so really make sure you're positioning it though so that you are feeling the pull in this part of your arm, your tricep, because that's where we're trying to stretch. stretch out our shoulders. We're going into a child's pose position. So you're going to sit back on your heels and open your knees out slightly. Come on down like this so that you're stretching out your back and then you're going to tuck one arm under the other and you're going to feel it in your shoulder. relaxing pose I find. I love child's pose. Oh. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just tuck that one arm under the other, position it. You might have to adjust a few times, but make sure you're just feeling that pull in your shoulder. Just breathe into that. Remember, stretching is never supposed to be painful. It's supposed to be a good, a good stretch. Like it should hurt. No, it should not hurt. It should feel like mild tension. Now just reach out, hands in front, rest your head on the floor. We're just gonna stretch out our lats. Just hang out with that. Oh, this is the most relaxing one. When you're stretching properly, what I mean to say is it should feel good. And walk up. Oh, you're done. I feel so relaxed. Have an amazing rest of the day or night. Good job.